Jason, what's going on? It's Bro Flamingo from Las Vegas, and what's up, man? What's on? How you doing, Bro Flamingo? So far, hey. so good on our agreement. Hey, hey, hey. Um, hey. I want to talk about two things, Jason, real quick. Um, the first thing, um, there's going to be a strike by the culinary union, the local 226. We're going to start picket lines tomorrow in front of, I think, three or four properties. And it's big. I just wanted to put it out there because, mm-hmm. you know, um, uh, the casinos are playing hardball, mm-hmm. playing real hardball, you know. Um, a lot of uh, – it, it's crazy because, you know, um, we have Formula One coming here to Vegas in November, mm-hmm. and the stakes are high, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think it's real important, you know, everybody out there knows what's going on. Cause you see what's going on with the UAW. You know, they're about to shut down the Kentucky Ford plant, and I think it's very important that, you know, that the local 226 here in Vegas – you know, for, you know, bartenders, housekeepers, um, bellmen, everything, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're fighting for a contract. We, we've been without a contract for, I think, maybe two or three months now because, you know, the they're just playing, a, they're playing like a, a – let me, let me put it to you this way. Mm-hmm. They're, they're testing the waters. They're, they're playing around. Mm-hmm. But also I do think, like, I think the companies think we're not serious, you know. So, so we really have to show out and go strong, and, that, and that's going to happen tomorrow. You know, it's the first first in the morning, and then um, the second wave, and then the second wave is going to continue at like five. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's going to be picket lines and everything, and uh, and I and I think that's very important news. And I think, you know, especially since you're next door in California, right, mm-hmm. you know, south of the California, you know, but yeah, you know, because I saw the union, I saw the union workers in the hotels doing wildcat strikes down there too. That was very inspiring, mm-hmm. and. And the second thing, Jason, I wanted to talk about, because um, you mentioned something. You mentioned something, and look, this is anecdotal. I don't have any. I don't even talk about my personal experience on this front. You talked about how people talk about, you know, support a nation state that they've never been to, or you know, it's like ESPN politics is sports, mm-hmm. and and I agree with you on some level, Jason. You know, and I, I really do agree with you on some level because, like, for example. You know, I'm in the local 226, right? I lost, I lost my job due to political reasons because I was active in the union and they suspended me from my previous, my previous company. I got, I got to be hired in another company, but union again. But also, I, but what I realized is that a lot of people, and, and listen, I don't think like you're less serious about politics if you're not, if you're not like, out there, you know, organizing or, you know, out there doing the work. Because I'm also part of my local DSA as well, you know. I know a lot of people feel strongly about that, but whatever. But what I realized, Jason, is that a lot of people do not have skin in the game. But they're, but they're the most fervent commenters on like Twitter or Reddit or Discord. Do you, know, you, you understand what I'm saying with that? I'm listening. Yes. Yes. And yeah, because I, I feel like I was talking for a long time. I'm sorry. But Mm-mm. so, you know, and, and, and to me, it's very strange because like, you know, a lot of things that bubble up on Twitter, like a bubble up on Twitter, you know, people are going so hard, you know, just, you know, just like just threads or whatever. Mm-hmm. People want to go and organize, whatever. Nobody's talking about this shit. Mm-hmm. Pardon my language, sir. Mm-hmm. You know, nobody's talking about this shit and what, whatsoever. You know, it, it, and then like you said, I, I get the feeling it's almost like it's almost like sports. We're talking about football, you know, you know, we're playing political football back and forth. And it's just like there's like no skin in the game whatsoever for a lot of these people talking. It's just very strange. Am I making sense with that? And the second, the last thing I'll say, you know, if you want to, if you want to uh, respond, I'll never forget this. I remember one time my local DSA chapter, we went out, we went uh, to downtown Las Vegas. <clears throat> we went to downtown Las Vegas, and um, you know, we were doing a march for Palestine, you know, Palestinian liberation. Mm-hmm. And I saw a bunch of cops out there. And like, and like Jason, in, in my newbie self, right? In my newbie self, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, look, you know, the cops are here, you know, to, to, uh, to stop the leftists from marching, whatever. Mm-hmm. I was so wrong because they were there to protect us. Because when we were marching down, you know, for, for Palestinian rights and liberation, mm-hmm. there were people swarming us. Mm-hmm. I, I had never seen anything like the people were just insane. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, look, the Nazis, they're coming after us. You guys, you, you, you guys are terrorists and blah, blah. Jason, it was one of the craziest experiences in my life. Just seeing like insane Zionists just, just turning on a dime when they saw us marching. That it was crazy. Like, and I'm not saying this as a flex or whatever. I'm sure I'm in a foul in Mossad somewhere. You hear what I'm saying? It's like, oh, we, 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 we know. Uh, it swear to God, like, yeah. we, we know who you are. Yeah, absolutely. You understand what I'm saying? So it is 
crazy, Jason. But that, but that's when I knew mm-hmm. this was bigger than me. Yeah, it, it, it was one of those inflection points in my life, Jason. You know, so we have a couple of those in our life. Mm-hmm. But that's when I realized this was bigger than me. You know, this, this isn't me on Twitter talking shit. You know what I'm saying? This is real shit. Mm-hmm. You know this was one of the most. This was just one of the most uh, transformative experiences in my life. You know, so I was just calling in, you know, to set the party off. But, but that's when, like, when people, when people like are being going crazy on Twitter, or it's like, do you really have any skin in the game? Exactly. And look, some people, and some people do, and some people have. And listen, like just because, like you know, you're, maybe you have a regular guy, you're a regular guy or a gal out there, and you got a nine to five. I'm not saying like you're any you're any political lesser because you're not out there, but understand, there's just real stakes to this stuff. Yes. You're saying, it's not, you're saying, go out there, do something. You know what I'm saying? See, Jason, half the battle is showing up. I swear to God, half of it is showing up. Literally. Yeah. Literally. I got embraced, I got embraced by the just for showing up and paying my dues regularly and help, help planning, help organizing, same for the union, you know? When I go to my union, you know, I volunteer my time all the time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it, it gives me purpose and meaning in life. It really does, Jason. It, it, it's, 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 what, it's just one of the, you know, most beautiful things I've ever done in my swear. I'm not, but you know, I'm a political junkie, so everybody has their own. But it gives me, it gives me purpose and meaning in life. Also, because I just realized, you know, like at, at the end of the day, I'm just one guy, right? So we, but you know, I'm only as strong as, as my comrade next to me. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, yeah, it's, it's just the way it works. This is the way politics work, literally. That's you know, the you, definition. You yeah. might talk short for you, might feel good, but you know. What what it really comes down to is, you know, are you out there doing something about everything? And that's all we have to say, Jason. Hey, Bro Flamingo, I appreciate you. Thank you for Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. thank you. Have a good night. Thank you for setting the show off. Thank you for setting the show off right. That's that was a damn good call. Mm-hmm. That's a hell of a way to start the show off. Mm. You know, give us the scoop. Give us the scoop. First of all, the scoop on what's going on in Vegas. You know, that's a powerful union out there. So it is. It's going to be very interesting if they shut stuff down out there. Um, we are seeing a massive labor movement, and that's a beautiful thing. It really is. There's some, you know, I was with a friend, I won't say who, who's been an organizer and activist for the majority of, of his adult life. And he is just disheartened and, like, stepping away. We talked about this off air. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it's stories like that. That I was trying to tell him, like, you know, I get why you're leaving where you're leaving, because I probably would too. Right. Um, but you know, there there is something in the water right now, especially in labor. Can can the left capture it? Or, you know, will it just dissolve into Democratic Party politics? I don't know. Vegas is also an interesting place because they had taken over the Democratic Party establishment with their DSA chapter. So mm. I remember they were very important in getting Bernie the state. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to follow these events, you know, and support your striking workers. Bring them some food. Pizza. Some bottles. It's hot as hell in Vegas still right now. Some bottles of water. Mm Mm-hmm. Anything. Holler at them. Take take some minutes to holler at them while they're out there. Talk to them. Means a lot. 